so we just so the the symbol the, the symbol of pi is just a sine wave on top of two pillars okay so when you create the four pillars of Armageddon okay the three that you can see and the one behind okay that you can't see which is a perfect line up withness okay you create four corners which creates a circle with two poles your poles this time instead of north and south they're gonna be east and west your poles are gonna shift people when you understand pi because of cellular math and the story of creation on the first page of the Bible in Genesis 1. This is my revelation. Okay. 21.99113 divided by 7 is pi. Pi is just two pillars or an 11 with a sine wave on top. Because the table of creation, once you get the cipher, is infinite. Infinite guy. And you're always going to have a sine wave of energy. Pi is a symbol for cellular energy. One quarter, remember. This is just a quarter. Three times 14 is 42. The answer to everything. The four corners. The four corners, but the three that you can see. Because three makes four makes five. And what three makes the fourth one that you can't see makes a one-dimensional line going up and down at the intersecting X of the four corners. Three makes four makes five is Armageddon consciousness. Nothing changes except your perception of everything. Because numbers don't lie. So, using this whiteboard that that man gave me, we have defined pi to six significant figures. And we've also been able to correctly identify the symbol for pi. Because of our understanding of a singularity and the infinite. And everything in between. Wow. So yeah. Like, pi has been staring me in the face. I got pi in the face. For how many months now? How many months have I had pie in my face? Gotta be six. <laughs> okay. Your flat earth diagram with your Antarctic ring is just a fucking sign and symbol of this, goddammit. From the perception of here. Because you sent a camera up really high into space, into the space, the finite amount of space between here and here on one of 14. You flat earth. Sure. You flat earth, man. How many spokes are there? With your axle. Your Axel Rose. You know what the radio station said just now? That it's Guns N' Roses weekend, baby! All the Axel and Slash you can handle! 